we'll have four questions. Can we start with two local, two international? Can we start with um, Mr. Jalo? Can you announce yourself and the media you represent? My name is Mouru Jalo. I work for the Gambia Radio and Television Services. And my question is concerning the uh, Israeli-Palestinian issue. We've seen uh, the OIC uh, taking Hola. proactive steps towards uh, resolving the, the crisis. Now, I was just asking, during the discussions, was there perhaps, is the OIC thinking of recognizing the Palestinian state? We've seen several countries around the world, non-OIC member states, recognizing Palestine as a state. Is the OIC, so the OIC, so the OIC also move towards that uh, course? so that it can pile the pressure on Israel and resolve the issue. Okay, thank you. Um, <laughs> I think the permanent, the... No, I, I, I think I can answer that question. Mm. The, all the OIC's member states recognize Palestine. There is no issue on that. So, uh, in fact, the, the very sense of the creation of the organization is to liberate Jerusalem. Yeah, and, the state of Palestine is a bona fide member of the OIC. Next. Okay. There's a gentleman there. Okay. Congratulations, um, His Excellency, for the successful hosting of the 15th edition of the OIC Banyul Summit. My name is Jordan Yai from QTV. Um, my question is um, regarding the theme, which is enhancing unity and solidarity through dialogue for sustainable development. How would you advance the theme of this vision in your chairmanship for the next three years? Thank you, Gilde. Um, first of all, before answering your question, I think I have seized the opportunity to thank the organization. To thank the organization for trusting Gambia, for supporting us and partnering with us until finally we are able to host this very important summit. I think this is the first time Gambia is hosting such a big event, a big organization, second biggest organization in the world. And as chairman and president of the Republic of the Gambia, I'm really proud to be given this opportunity. It's a rare privilege, but we are very grateful to the Ummah for all the support, especially the Secretariat. It was not an easy journey, but thank God we are able to host and I think all Gambians are proud of the Gambia today. Going to your question, I have been engaged in many bilateral meetings. In these bilateral meetings, our main discussion is about solidarity and unity. Because what I believe is there have been a lot of theory. I think the theory is good but action speak louder than words. It is now time for action. It's now time to move the organization to the next level. Yesterday was the day that the entire organization, that is the Ummah, came together, appoint me as their driver. If they appointed me as their driver, that means they are all my passengers. I think as passengers, we should all work together to drive the vehicle to final destination. The final destination, we want to be united, we want to be in solidarity. If we are united, we are strong. If we are in solidarity, we are strong that will give us a very, very, very strong voice, a very loud voice for that matter, for us to respect it and make so we implement all the projects that are within the organization. 
a special Palestinian project. We told that Yasser Arafat will deliver the project, but it didn't happen. But I think during our time, if we are united, because we have enough capacity, we have enough experience, we have enough resources to pull our resources, our experience, our capacity together to deliver Palestine. I think it is very, very possible. There is no problem without a solution. The biggest problem in the world was the World War, World War I and World War II, but it was solved. So we can solve this problem. I think so with commitment, with delegation, unity, in solidarity, we can deliver Palestinian and deliver more projects for the UNO. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Um, my controller is there. Thank you. I am Modu Elbaji from Star TV. And my question is directed to the president, the new one of the um, organization. And my question is, um, Sudan and of course Palestinians are still calling for humanitarian support. Under your you know, how swift you know, will you respond to this need? If you listen to my speech, keenly, my speech is all about dialogue, about engagement about communication, about discussion. This is within the UN. We have to come together and solve the problem of the UN. And as chairman, I think it is my responsibility to take the lead and make so we engage, we communicate, we dialogue, we mobilize resources to make so we solve most of our problems within the UN. This is the time for action. This is not time for theory anymore. Action speaks louder than words. And we are ready to take the Ummah to the next level. Next. My name is Maimuna Ba. I work with TLT World News. And Mr. President, Gambia and the OIC members clearly support permanent ceasefire in Gaza. What is Gambia's position as in the approach of achieving permanent ceasefire in Gaza? I think our message is very, very clear. We have always been very, very consistent when it comes to the Palestinian issue. If you have been following the Gambia since I came to power, there is no statement that we have delivered at the UNGA without mentioning Palestinians. So we have been following Palestinians keenly, and we support them when we do everything possible to mobilize the organization so that we speak with one, one voice to make so Palestine is free, not even ceasefire, but a permanent, permanent ceasefire. And at the same time, we deliver the project of the Palestinian people to their independence. That's what we are working on. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. That was the last. We said four questions and we have had the four. So now we thank you everybody for your participation and making this a successful summit for the Gambia and for the Ummah. Thank you very much, Excellency.